The project that we have here is a butterfly garden and a monarch way station. And the idea really was to have this be a science lab, if you will, um, something that kids in every every uh, from years to come that uh, they could just come and they could just view the life cycle of butterflies and get really involved and engaged in, in nature and in science. I've got to tell you that, um, as, as almost any parent knows or, or any adult, it is very hard to get the buy-in of a total class. I mean, anybody can teach the life cycle <laughs> of a butterfly, but who lives it? Absolutely. And you guys live it. Behind us is a completely desolate field, and that is what this looked like just a few short months ago. Rio, tell me why we're sitting here. What is this? It's a waste station. This is a place where the caterpillars, for the caterpillars. It's got the milkweeds, and the milkweed is what the caterpillars eat. Now, when they eat, there's a special word for it when they're eating. What's Gorging. That? Gorging. Tell me a little bit about why this garden is so important. Because so the butterflies don't come extinct. So we build a monarch waste station and a garden so the butterflies can stay alive. Do you know the life cycle of a butterfly that you could maybe help me with? Well, it starts off with an egg and then the caterpillar comes out of it and make a chrysalis on a plant, or they climb on the big enclosure and they get on top. And then they come out and turn into a butterfly. It seemed like a really fun thing to do. And actually, like, get something done besides play and watch TV. We're going to release that butterfly. What do you think? You think it's old enough to release that? Yeah. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Butterfly, butterfly. Woo!